In a recent discussion, someone asked me about setting up tabs on TextEdit. And tabs are common throughout the Mac OS. To hide them or show them, and this is going to be true in almost any program, you could go to Tab, Hide Tab Bar, or Show Tab Bar. You can also, even if the tab bar is hidden, Hide Tab Bar, when I go to File New, it will create a new one in a new tab. Now, it doesn't always do that. That's a setting that you can set. I'm going to go ahead do my show tab bar. I like it that way. But if you go into your system preferences and go to your dock settings, which seems like an odd place, you might expect it to be in general, but it's not. It's in dock settings. They have this option, prefer tabs when opening documents always in full screen only or manually. Manually means only if you tell it to open. There we go. Let's go ahead and just show that. If I say file new, it has a new, a new window. I think... I can do option new. Yeah, it doesn't actually tell you. It's kind of interesting that it doesn't tell you tab. If I hold down the option, it'll go into a new tab there. Even when I have it set to do manually, file new, need the option. I'm assuming it probably works the other way. If I say always, is that really the case? File new, it'll go into a tab. What if I do option? Boom, new window. So you can go ahead and swap that back and forth. This works in most programs on the Mac. Not all. Here I am in Pages. You will see View, Show All Tabs, Hide Tab Bar. You could do the same thing there. Show Tab Bar. And has the same plus sign, same plus sign. Let's go and open several in both of these. Oh, that's another way of opening them. I don't have to go to File New. And then since it's the same hotkey, I happen to have a mouse that has that hotkey on it. So I don't even know what the hotkey is, but it will tell me here. Previous tab and next tab. If I wanted to, I could merge all windows. Let's go ahead and do the same thing here. Same options. Now, it didn't have all of these in um, earlier versions, but they've added a little bit to it. But the same idea has been there now for several versions of the Mac OS. I could drag a window out and then say I want to drag this tab to that window. Just drag it over. Boom. Or I could say window and uh, merge all windows. Boom. I could then go ahead and move that one back over to the left. How am I doing that, by the way? I actually have a program that does that for me. And it gives me all sorts of options. But if I just move over to here, tile window to left to right, if I hold down the option key, it'll just say, move the window to the right-hand side of the screen. Boom. And it goes ahead and moves it over. I actually, on that, with my third-party one, if I hold down the Apple key, it gives me a bunch of other options. And I actually have that swapped out. I'm just going to show this real, real briefly. Um, I usually have my Moom controls there, so I usually actually don't see the standard Mac OS ones. I see my more advanced ones, but I could always get to those by holding down the command key. Let's see, what else is there to it? That's really, I mean, that's basically it on tabs. They're real easy to use. If you have multiple documents, you can go between them really fast, really nice. Um, would be nice if I can combine different programs, maybe. I can't do that. And just to show this is not just Mac programs, here's another program here called Paint S. It's a pretty low-end program, but it does much the same. It's a little different. When I want to create a new one, it'll ask the size. And yeah, non-Apple made program, ask the size right there. And I could do the same thing. Move it around, drag it back, change the order, use my mouse to get between them. This will work in most programs that use documents. Not all BB Edit is one that it doesn't. There's other examples where it does not work. But real easy to use. Go to Window and you can go ahead, yeah, you know, jump between tabs, tile them on the left and right. You can, you know, you can work with the tabs how you want to work with them. You can separate them. You can merge all windows. You know, it works real nice. I have a little hotkey right here. So I could go ahead and do that. Or again, I could use, you know, the different methods here, a bunch of different methods I have for window management. But real easy to use and has been in multiple versions of the Mac OS.